And so I uh, took April to her first coding meetup uh, about a week ago, and I was going through some of my old footage that I never released for uh, a video I'm going to be putting out that is like shit that didn't make the cut, but here it is, <laughs> sort of thing. And uh, I came across a clip talking about my first coding meetup that I was ever about to go to. I've never gone to one before. I didn't even know they were a thing. So I hope you guys enjoy it. A little. An old clip from like three years ago and a, uh, a, a recent clip about April's first coding meetup. Should be fun stuff. I guess I'm headed to a code and coffee meetup. What it, that is, apparently, I was... So sometimes I do Lyft, like on my way to school, I just turn the Lyft app on. And I'll make like 30 to 50 bucks just on my way to school. So I leave an hour early or so. And, you know, two hours, three hours sometimes just to, you know, if it's busy, busy. But, yeah. So I met this guy, David, uh, who works at a web design firm. Slash, it's like a go-to tech shop for everything. They do Android. They do iOS. They do, they do um, websites. They do every any any sort of program any customization this this company do, does but he told me about this code and coffee it's basically a once a week or bi-weekly um event where a weekly get together for programmers of all ages skill levels and interests so it's like a programmer meetup so uh i'm excited to go i think it'll be fun but i also think it'll be a good a good potential business sort of oh oh uh oh so this opening's open at your new workplace thank you you know let me let me go in there and take care of that and see if i can uh, get a job but yeah uh just wanted to record something on that so he said hey um i would like to have uh es 2015 react and stage zero uh, and stage zero is the bleeding edge javascript features this is stuff that may not even make it into the standard. <laughs> Alright baby, we just got done with our your first coding meetup. We went to a uh, ES6 uh, talk. What did you think? Uh, it was fun. I enjoyed it. It, uh, it kind of reminded me of being back in like, college, which I love school. so. I definitely felt like I got more done in that one hour than I did all day at home. So <laughs> it was great. I uh, didn't understand a lot because a lot of it was something that I'm not there yet. But the guy that was definitely presenting, even though it wasn't his area of expertise, he was still able to, you know, get everything across. And even though I didn't understand like the lingo of it, he was able to describe it so well that I could actually follow along. So it was good. I enjoyed it. Good. Hey guys, just a reminder that um, I know we're all busy, but uh, you know I just got out of work and April came down and we went and saw our and I went to the the coding meetup to try and factor into your life as many meetups as you can. It's a, a great opportunity to network. It's also a great opportunity to learn. I learned more about ES6 than I did watching an hour long video, kind of breaking it down and gonna try and make that extra leap to always be using the latest technologies uh, to kind of showcase uh, a little bit of your drive to learn and be a better developer. Also, and if you want to make excuses that you don't have time to go to school, this is kind of like taking a, a course, like a crash course. Yeah. But I really, I always, always used to tell myself, well, I don't have the money to go and take these courses. Well, now I really have no excuse. Yeah, because they're free. And there's also usually beer and food. I had a beer, <laughs> my first beer in like six months, but I had one. I know, I was really surprised you had a beer. I was like, really? Yeah. Okay. I usually sneak a beer when it's free. And he only looked at his Facebook page once. Yeah, I was interested. I wanted to know what was going on. <laughs> I only go to the ones that I'm interested in. So, but anyhow, guys, make sure to go to the meetups, hackathons, and uh, if you're not sure where to find them, you can uh, find a lot at meetup.com and Eventbrite as well. And just try and go as much as you can. We're going to be going to a lot more now that April's on the path. It's a young, the young Jedi over here trying to learn. So. Hey guys, thanks for watching the video. If you're interested in 
coding boot camp check out devmountain.com where housing is included in your price of tuition and don't forget to like comment subscribe and share and support me on patreon i'll see you guys in the next video thanks for watching